Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I would like to welcome everyone to my J Toolman photo printing techie video channel. If you want to learn how to properly set up your printers for photo printing, if you'd like to learn how to properly set up your drivers for photo printing, if you would like to learn how to use the proper color managed workflow involving all of the aspects of it, then you are in the correct place. You have landed in the correct channel. Please consider, if you haven't already done so, subscribing to the channels and always remember to click on the bell so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So let's get down to business. Let's start printing. Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. We're going to talk about PGI 72 cartridges and PGI 9 cartridges for the Canon Pro 10 and the Canon Pro 9500 Mark II. The Mark II is an older printer, but some of you still have it and you may be refilling your cartridges. And I'm going to touch on a couple of points that you need to keep in mind in order so that your refilling process as you go from refill to refill to refill stays optimal. Remember, this is not supposed to be done, but we figured out a way to do so. So you have to keep in mind a couple of little things. This is going to be a do and don't type video. Remove the cap. You have to keep these. Do not throw them out. You will notice that there is a oval, almost rectangular, but oval exit sponge on the cartridge. This perfectly matches the intake port on the printhead. Basically, it's just by passive contact. What can happen, this is chroma optimizer, so there are no pigment particles. But say you're using magenta and you're refilling your magenta. After the second, third, fourth refill, there is a possibility that particles of pigment will begin to accumulate on the ends of this oval exit port. What you need to do is this. When you are refilling these using the drip method, make sure you just do not drip on the center part of the sponge. Drip also on the corners. In fact, drip over the complete sponge, drop by drop by drop by drop. That will sort of back flush any particles that may have accumulated on your ends of this excess sponge. You want to make sure that you keep that sponge free of trapped pigment particles. That will prevent a whole bunch of problems down the road. In fact, this will creep up on you so unexpectedly that before you know it, you will have huge problems. And the only way you can then remedy that, if you haven't already harmed your printhead, is to replace your cart with a brand new one. So that is it. Make sure that you drip your ink all over the whole surface of that sponge so that you can back flush, back, in other words, Reintroduce any dried up ink that may have accumulated on those corners back into the internal space of the cartridge, which by the way, it is highly, highly engineered. It is a bladder that has a accordion type construction. There is a spring loaded metal piston and that is the way that the ink is delivered to the printer. It's amazing. And it took a whole lot of engineering. There's really nothing else out there like it. So treat this cartridge carefully. Refill it carefully. It will last you many, 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 many refills. But again, only if you follow that simple hint that I just gave you. And this was provided to me by someone who really, really knows. Okay. I'm not going to say who it is. But anyway, I am passing this on to you guys who are going to be using or even getting a Pro 10. Some of you may have heard about Precision Colors new ink set for it. That's coming in a few days. I just spoke to them the other night. Again, final stages, just printing labels, bottling the ink. And still the recommendation goes that if you have images that do not require a high gamut reproduction of the red region, 
you can use the red that they will provide you. If you want to extract the best performance, do as I did when I showed you all those 13 by 19s in a previous video. I used red OEM ink and the other nine Precision Colors Signature Edition. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. I can't wait to get these inks. Bye-bye.